Amitek products are built to last for many years of triple free service. However, there might be times when the blower is not performing the way that you anticipate. Today we will discuss what you should do if this happens. First, if the blower is within the warranty period for material defects or workmanship, please contact the factory to obtain direction. The contact details are on your screen. The warranty is to the original purchaser only. Please have your order number, your purchase order number, date purchased, and model number of the part ready when you call. Please note that for any warranty covered repairs or replacement of the blower, shipping costs, or any other charges to remove or reinstall the blower are not covered by Amatech, and you must obtain an RMA number prior to sending anything back to the factory. Let's review the basics of installation. Movement. Is the blower bolted down to prevent movement? This prevents the blower from moving or transmitting any vibrations to the surroundings. The blower should not vibrate any more than any normal electric motor. Filtration. Is there a filter being used? And if so, is the element clean? Ingested materials can cause problems for the blower. If the element isn't clean, it can cause excessive back pressure causing the unit to work harder than needed. Piping. Check the piping. Is it supported? Is it sized for the blower? Is the piping aligned with the blower or are there forces on the piping being transmitted to the blower? Piping should be metal for the first five to eight feet on the outlet side of the unit. Plastic pipe can be used after that, but note that plastic piping can melt or deform. Piping that exerts forces on the blower can cause the flange and manifold plate to warp or place forces onto the blower itself. Wiring. The blower must be wired to local codes. Slow blow or time delay fuses should be used to allow the blower the needed current capability to start correctly. The wiring needs to be sufficiently large enough to handle the blower's current. The blower has a rather large inrush or starting current before dropping back down to its normal running current. Pressure and vacuum maximums. These should not be exceeded and can be checked with a gauge. The closer the blower is to these maximums, the higher the current draw. Do not throttle these units. Higher current draws and temperatures will result. After checking the previously mentioned items, we will now turn our attention to the unit itself. If the blower is under warranty, the best course of action is to contact the local sales rep, the company you purchased the blower from, or as a last resort, the factory itself. Does the impeller turn? If the impeller doesn't turn and you hear no electrical noise, this could be a dead motor or a loose power connection. If the impeller doesn't turn, but you hear a humming sound, this could be electrical, meaning one phase of the motor wiring is loose or shorted, or something is inside the impeller housing, which has seized the impeller. If the impeller does turn, either by jogging the motor or turning the motor shaft via the cooling fan end of the motor, check the starter fuses and heaters. They may not be sized correctly. Do you hear any unusual sounds? Something could be in the impeller housing. The impeller could be rubbing, or something could be in the muffler tower or piping. If there is a rumbling sound, the bearings might need changing. If the motor's thermal overload trips or fuses keep popping, this could be a short internally in the motor. The impeller could be seized, the electrical connections could be suspect, or something could be blocking the airflow. If the current draw is too high, it can be caused by improper wiring or the operation of the blower is above the maximum allowable performance as per our catalog. You will need to reduce blower operating performance. If the impeller is rubbing or seized, it could be caused from ingested materials or improper shimming, especially if the unit has recently been rebuilt. Or it could be caused by worn bearings. Any work done on the blower should be done with the blower electrically isolated to prevent it from starting. You should never rotate the motor shaft by the blower's impeller. Instead, use the exposed shaft near the small cooling fan to rotate the motor shaft. Amatech builds quality units to last many years. The above steps may not be necessary, but for units that have been in the field for many years, these steps will assist you in troubleshooting any problems that you have with our blowers.